How's everyone doing this morning? Good? Okay, I, um, I usually have a prop or an illustration to show you guys this morning, so today is not any different than any other day. So I have this here. Now, now does anybody know what this is? You guys are looking, you're looking a little disgusted. You may know what this is. Rye, what do you know? It's a plunger. It's a plunger. Now, Mel, have you ever used this? Have you ever seen this? I've seen it. You've seen it? Yeah. Now, have you guys ever used this before? Yeah? <laughs> did you put it on the wall? Did you stick it on the wall? No? You did? <laughs> oh, there we go. Confession time. That's good. That's good. No, so, no, we don't put it on the walls. What, where do you guys usually find plungers? What, what room? In the bathroom, next to the the royal throne. Yes, the the toilet, the toilet. So, and it's used to do what? To unclog maybe something, a mess that's in there, right? Yeah, we won't we won't specifically talk about what's inside those deals, but sometimes. After a period of time that there, there becomes a mess, there becomes a clog, and then there's, no matter what we do, have you guys ever tried to just flush it again and see what happens? Hope that it just goes down? Yeah? Does it go down? Oh, no, it gets really close to the rim there, and then we got to go tell mom and dad, right? And so then they use a plunger. And so what the plunger does is it, it, it unclogs the drain and then the mess is gone, right? And would you guys say that it's a, it's a clean job or a messy job? A little messy job. You guys, you knew what it is because I saw your faces once I pulled this thing out. And some people too that saw me bring this in there had those same faces this morning. So the plunger, it, it's a dirty tool for a dirty, messy job. And no matter what we do, if we try to flush that toilet on our own without using the plunger, it's still going to be a dirty, messy job that's unfinished. We can't do it on our own. And so this morning, it really it gets me to thinking about something that's similar to that. And it's something that we often don't really think about or we don't think about as a messy job. But I want you guys to look up, up there. What do you see up there? The cross. The cross. Now... Oftentimes when we see the cross, you may see it on people's necklaces, and it's, and it's plated in gold. It looks really pretty sometimes, right, too? And then up there it looks really nice, too. But really, the cross was a dirty, disgusting tool for a dirty, filthy job. And what, uh, what Jesus had done is that he used the instrument just like the plunger, he used the cross to unclog the pathway that was between us and God. No matter what we did here on earth, because the world is pretty messy, you, we can see it all around us, especially what we're talking about this Sunday with the, the sanctity of life. We live in a dirty, messy world. And there's nothing that we can do on our own. It's just like trying to flush it by ourselves. We can't unclog that drain. But when Christ used the plunger, when he died on the cross, he created that pathway. He unclogged the drain that caused, that's caused by the world's sin and despair that we sometimes are a part of, just like you guys sometimes are a part of that mess in the potty, okay? <laughs> but we, what Jesus done is unclog that drain. So then we can have that pathway that's cleared again between us and God so that we could be made right with him. But I want, us, I want us to look at that cross. I want us to look up there. Sometimes we don't think of it as a dirty job. We often look at there because we wear it on our necks, because we have it on our cars, that we forget what a dirty, messy tool that is. And what Christ had to do. We talked about it in our opening song. Like what a cost. What it would have been to, for Christ to be on that cross. So I want us to remember what Christ had done with that dirty tool. And then that he used it to do something super amazing. That would bring us all back together. So 
I don't hope that you guys use this very often, but when you do, I want you to think about the cross and what Christ did for us to unclog that drain so that we could be closer to him as a result. Okay, will you guys pray with me as we reflect on that? Dear Heavenly Father, um, we thank you, Lord, for sending your son, Jesus, um, Lord, who, who lived a perfect life, who was our prophet, priest, and king, Lord, but uh, we, we know that uh, through what he did on that cross, that he unclogged the, the channel that, that separated us between you and us. And Lord, what a cost that was. Um, there was no other way for us to, to be closer to you. And, and it was all part of your plan, Lord, that you would send your son here and would sacrifice him so that we could be called sons and daughters of the Most High. And help us to remember how awful, uh, dirty, stinky job that was, uh, what Christ had to go through, what a cost that was, um, Lord. And, and help us to be thankful and to remember that even though the cross, that what it's intended use for is for bad, for harm, you had transformed it for good and for our salvation. And we thank you, Lord, and we thank you for all the things that you do for us, and we just pray that you help us to remind ourselves that, of that great and awesome gift that you have given us. And we pray this, Lord, in your son's precious name. And all God's kids say, Amen. Amen. Ooh.